Many of us don't even realize it, but day in and day out, most all of us are practicing witchcraft. Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. We do this every day. We do it in the workplace. We do it in the car, on our way to work, on our way to the grocery store. We do it at the grocery store. We do it within our own families. We do it so much that it's like it's automatic now. And that is this thing of practicing witchcraft. And a lot of you guys ain't going to like that. A lot of you guys ain't going to agree with it. But we don't realize exactly what that means in different ways. People think witchcraft is just this thing where you're sitting down with this Ouija board or you're literally casting spells on people. It doesn't really require that all the time. Another form of witchcraft is what you speak over people, how you condemn people. And people think this is what Christians do. Oh, you know, you're not supposed to judge. You know, that one verse that people just happen to remember. They don't remember any other verse in the Bible, but that one part that says thou shalt not judge. Not, not even realizing that they take that verse out of context. Judging doesn't mean observing things that are wrong and calling it out, especially when you're using the word to do it. Judging means condemning, damning someone to hell, damning someone to never to, to, to never make it, to never uh, be successful, to always be this and that. It's condemnation and it's also witchcraft. So you have to know the difference. People practice witchcraft every day. All of us are guilty of it. We talk about someone when someone upsets us or hurts us. The, one of the first things we do is condemn them. And we 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 speak witchcraft over them. And we say they're never going to make it. I hope this happens to them. I hope that happens to them. That is demonic is dark and is very much evil. Yeah, it is human nature, but we're not supposed to operate as mere humans and fleshly beings. We're supposed to be of a spiritual mindset of a godly mindset as often as we can. It's supposed to be around the clock, but we know it's not that easy. There are many different things that snatches out of that spiritual realm. All you got to do is look around just a little bit. So we have to be careful about what we say over people, to people, about people. Okay, Even when they're not around, you can still speak witchcraft on them. Especially, it happens a lot when someone hurts you, someone offends you, someone does something that is completely unwarranted, and, and, and they commit some kind of offense against you. One of the first things we do is start speaking witchcraft over them. I hope they I hope they can't sleep at night when they think about this. I hope that this goes downhill for them. I hope that never works out. Or even if you say it won't, not even saying you hope it won't, saying it won't. They're never going to make it. They're, 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 they're always going to be that way. They're destined to be this. They're not going to get any sleep because of that. They're, 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 you are speaking demonic activity into someone's life, especially when you do it right after an offense. The Bible says to be angry and sin not. That's where the sin comes into play. When we start speaking over people, about people, we are speaking curses into their lives. The most dangerous part about that is that when you do that, it, it comes back on you. The Bible says the pit that you dig for someone else is the one that you will rot in. So I don't want to be rotting in any pits. So this is something I check myself on every day. I don't want to be out there rotting in pits because I'm sitting there wishing the worst on someone who hurt who hurt me. And trust me, I have a lot of people that I could do that uh, uh, with. I mean, a lot of people, people closest to me. God's honest truth. I've never I never done that to people closest to me. I've only done it to people that offend me in a split second. I'm like, you know what? That's exactly why. And it's so easy. It's so easy. But somehow I'm able to check myself when it's someone I've known for a while. It's no better. You know, it, wrong is wrong. So my thing is, like, we have to make sure that we're keeping our anger in check, keeping our emotions in check, and making sure that we're not speaking evil onto someone that's going to come back on us. We can't do it at all, but it's definitely going to come back on us. So we are not going to ever, we're, not, we're never going to be perfect. We're never going to have it all together, but we do have to try. And we definitely, definitely, definitely have to watch our mouths. Thank you for tuning in. This has been brought to you by BioTrust. BioTrust plant protein and superfood protein mix is a game changer for me. You got to check this stuff out. It works perfectly with your favorite drink. I personally like to mix it with water because of how rich it is. You can also mix it with milk. You can make a smoothie out of it. Put it in a blender with some fruit. However you want to do it, don't just take my word for it. You got to check it out for yourself. 
So click the link in the description and go ahead and give it a shot. You will not regret it. And don't forget, every order you place through BioTrust feeds a hungry child. So keep that in mind. While you're benefiting, the children are also benefiting.